my journey to the Badagri Slave Museum. This cannon gun is used to exchange for 80 human beings, while the big one is used to exchange for 100 human beings. Gag slave is a slave that works in a sugar cane plantation, and they don't want the slave to eat from the plantation, that's why they padlocked him out, because glucose is gotten from sugar cane, so they don't want them to eat from it to have energy to fight them. So they only unlock it when it's time to eat their daily meal. These are domestic slaves they later gained their freedom and came back to Africa and settled in Sierra Leone and the man was castrated as a domestic slave because the masters, when they are away on business trips, they don't want the male slaves to sleep with their wives or female kids. These are wet nurses. They are domestic female slaves that breastfeeds white babies. The reason is they don't want their wives to loose their shapes or their breasts to sag. Slave shackles. These are slaves on shackles. These are the dogs that train to catch runner away slaves and even kill them in the process and we have two types of these dogs, the Spanish and the Dutch dogs. The Spanish dogs brings the slave alive while the Dutch dogs attack slaves on the neck to make sure. They taste the blood of the slaves. This is an example of a Dutch dog with a runaway slave. They always attack on the throat. This is an adult slave cell. These are runaway slaves trying to run away from the plantation. So they are being caught punished and hanged by the gallows. And through this process most of them died and if they survive. They will continue the punishment the next day. These are the rejected slaves or slaves that are sick and weak. They don't have the strength to work instead of to free them they will be killed. And the reason why they kill them is for them not to come back to Africa to expose the secrete. These are returning slaves like Samuel A. J. Crowther and Candido da Roca and most of them settled in the Lagos Island. And they built these architectural structures like the CMS Church in Lagos Island and Shidabe Central Mosque's ruler. These are the slave abolitionists, those that put stop to slavery, the freedom fighters the likes of Queen Nanny, Harriet Tubman, Nat Turner, the great warriors of Guinea the Maroons, Captain John Brown, the Amazons of Daomi. A slave happy to regain freedom when slavery was abolished.